Hi, I'm Mark Sacco, and I'm here with the Mitsutoya Quick Vision Active Machine, and I'm going to talk about how the edge selector works when taking measurements. So let's get into it. So here you can see the QVPAC software interface, and as you can see, I have the camera focused on an outside edge with the proper light set. This is set up so that I can show you how the edge selector works. So I'm going to click on line to take a measurement, and normally we use the one-click mode to take the measurement. So that's already selected. So when I click on the edge, the tool pops up there and multiple points are measured automatically. The other way that an edge is usually measured is using multi-click and then I could take two clicks on the edge and again, tool pops up there on the screen and it takes a measurement. However, for my example here, what I want to do is actually draw the tool on the screen like you see here, just by left clicking and dragging the mouse. Notice here, this large plus, that is the edge selector. And watch what happens when I put the box tool over the edge, but the edge selector is not on the edge that I want to measure. When I click run, the tool actually fails. So why does it fail? That's because the edge selector is not on the edge that we're measuring, or really any edge that we can measure. Now I move the edge selector over and I click run. Now the box tool measures the points correctly. So what's really happening here? is the edge selector here is used to calculate the correct edge that should be measured. That's important because you want to make sure that you always have the edge selector on the edge that you want to measure. Now, normally when using one click or multi-click, when you click on the edge, the edge selector is automatically put on the edge that you're measuring. Usually it doesn't matter unless again, like I just did, you draw a tool on the screen like this, or as I'm about to show you in a second here, if you have a really difficult edge to measure, then it can make a huge difference. So here you can see that I've moved the camera over to a much more challenging edge to measure. This is part of a larger diameter. And what I'm going to do here is use an arc tool to measure points on the edge of that diameter. So to do that, I'll click on circle. Arc tool is already selected. And I'm going to use multi-click plus because the edge is so difficult to measure. I'm going to put the tool up here in the field of view. And when I click run, it's a really difficult edge. It couldn't, could not get any kind of measurement. So if that happens, move the edge selector to someplace else closer to the edge. And notice that it did take measurements, which are good, but notice that the points are not on the edge that I'm trying to measure. The points are actually very far inside of the surface of the part. The reason for that is because of where the edge selector is. So if I click undo, and if we take a look at the edge selector, notice that it's not exactly on the edge that I'm trying to measure. Again, the edge selector is used to calculate where the edge is. So if I don't have the edge selector on the edge that I want to measure, especially a high contrast portion of the edge, QVPAC will take points that are away from the edge that you're trying to measure. So to fix that, simply reposition the edge selector and we'll put it up here right on the edge that I want to measure. Anytime you move the edge selector, always click teach to recalculate the edge as it's going to be determined by QVPAC. Then click run. And now notice that we're getting points much closer to the edge. I think I could improve that even more. I click undo. Let's move this edge selector, let's say down to here, click teach, click run again. And notice that now the points are much closer to the edge that I'm trying to measure. So that's how to properly use the edge selector. Check out our YouTube channel for more how-to videos like this one, or go to mitstory.com for more information on the Quick Vision machine.